Hello, my name is Wade Nomura, and this is Rotary Serving Our Community. One of the challenges that Rotary is facing these days is to bring in and attract younger people, uh, more younger people, into Rotary because currently uh, it looks like a fairly aging organization. And because of that, I have two special guests with me. I have Jenna Driscoll and Boris Grav Gravosky. <laughs> I hope I got that fairly close. Sorry, Boris. Uh, anyways, welcome to both of you. Thank you. Thank you. We're going to start with you there, Jenna. Tell us a little bit about yourself. I'm from Ventura originally, and I was lucky enough to stay in the area for school. Got my undergrad and my master's at UCSB in environmental science, and uh, started working for an environmental nonprofit here in town, Santa Barbara Channel Keeper, and I work as a policy advocate and environmental scientist for them. Great. Sounds good. Thank you. So you didn't go too far then? Nope. <laughs> Love <laughs> it here. <laughs> it sounds good. And Boris, how about you? Uh, I was uh, born in Russia, and I moved to grow up in Israel. And I spent about 21 years there, and I decided to move to Vancouver, Canada for three years. And then I moved here to California two years and happily married to Kelsey, working as a plumber right now. Yeah. Sounds good. And what brought you to uh, Santa Barbara area? Kelsey, my wife, found a job which is a humanitarian aid. It's a direct relief, which is in town, and she decided that moving to close to where she is, wants to work is the right decision and I agreed with that decision. Sounds good. So we have two extremes here. Somebody that <laughs> didn't come from too far and somebody from very far away. Um, but one common link, both of you are uh, kind of organized into the nonprofit area. area so mm -hmm. that is great. Uh, Jenna, we're going to start with you. Uh, tell us a little bit about your Rotaract career. So I initially heard about Rotaract uh, or Rotary because I received um, the four-way test essay contest oh. um, scholarship um, in eighth grade okay. and got to go to a Rotary meeting to receive my award and was kind of curious about Rot Rotary and what it was about. And when I was in Santa Barbara and done with school, I was looking for a way to kind of be a contributing member of society outside of just my job and also meet people. and. Um, I found Rotaract, and it was a great opportunity for me to get involved and do something good for my community and have really great friendships. And since then, I became the uh, downtown Rotary liaison, got to go to several Rotary meetings, and uh, I'm now the Santa Barbara Rotaract president. And I am one of the first people to be a dual member in Rotary and Rotaract with the downtown Santa Barbara Club. So you took advantage of one of the benefits of the council legislation change. I did. Allowing just Rotaractors, the only ones of dual membership. It's wonderful. Yeah, outstanding. <laughs> Good to hear that. Thank you. And how about you, Boris? So at first, I arrived at Santa Barbara without uh, knowing anyone. I only had my wife. And I couldn't really work because we were just newlyweds. And getting to California was uh, I didn't have all my paperwork. So I knew I could not work. But I wanted to meet people, and I wanted to do things because I, I had so much spare time. So I decided to volunteer in the community because it's not a job and you get to meet people. And I went to online and I found the Rotary Club of Santa Barbara. And I went to the meeting and I found all these amazing people doing amazing things and I never heard of it before. And they introduced me to Jenna, which was there. And she told me, hey, we have another group of uh, 20 to 30 uh, year old people and we're doing Almost the same things, but for a younger crowd, and as a younger crowd. And she invited me to one of the events. Not event, it was a meeting, actually. And since then, I didn't stop. <laughs> Very good. So, um, by the way, where do you guys meet at? Where, where's your meeting We're location? currently meeting at uh, Telegraph Brewing okay. um, every second and fourth Tuesday at 6.15 p.m. Nice. Very nice. You guys have an event today also, by the way, right? We do. It's actually World Rotaract Day okay. and the 50th anniversary of Rotaract. So we're, in order to celebrate, we're doing a cash mob at the brew house. Wow. So you guys hit it just right. March 13th, correct? March 13th. 50th anniversary. Mm -hmm. Perfect timing. I like that. Mm -hmm. So um, what actually attracted you into uh, Rotary? What, what was the connection for you, Jenna? I really liked that it was a social element, but also combined with being a good person in the community and having an impact um, on your community that's positive and uh, long lasting. And yeah, I always saw some rotary plaques for trees and benches and um, the rotary wheel on city signs. And you could just tell that it, it was a big presence in the community. And I wanted to be a part of that. 
Now, did you have any friends uh, involved with it, or do you now? Uh, I do now through Rotaract. Okay. Um, okay. The majority of all of my friends in Santa Barbara are in Rotaract, and that I met through Rotaract. Um, and Rota Rotarians as well. I've made really great friendships with several Rotarians. And, but before that, I didn't really have any connections to Rotary other than when I was in eighth grade and heard about it. <laughs> That's very good. Now, did you realize that Rotary was part of the four-way test essay sponsorship? I did, oh, yeah. Oh, you did? Okay, mm -hmm. so that was pretty clear. Yeah, they, um, they did a good job of advertising that. that. And then when we got to go to the meeting, I went to the uh, Ventura meeting okay. um, and got to sit in on a whole meeting and hear, their, hear all of the events that they were doing, and it sounded like a great organization. Great. Now, that was the uh, Ventura Rotary Club then? It was. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, now, did you go on to the district level for the next one, or was that mostly club? It was cl uh, just for the club. <laughs> okay. Uh, did you, were you aware that it actually does go on beyond that? I was not. Okay. <laughs> Your application, I'm sure, goes forward. Oh. Uh, and then they probably just uh, recognize the one winner. Mm -hmm. We usually get, because I was chairing that one year, and I think we had as many as 60 different applicants come wow. through from all the different clubs. Mm -hmm. So it's quite a challenge there, but congratulations to you on that. Thank you. <laughs> How about you, Boris? It attracted me because I saw that there is a group of people, especially in Santa Barbara, a group of people that is uh, my age. Santa Barbara is a place where many people go to retire, usually, or to study. And students, when they graduate, they move, move away from uh, Santa Barbara. And when I went to this meeting of Rotaract, I actually met a group of people that are my age doing the things that I want to do. I want to volunteer and I want to connect with uh, Rotarians that are from all fields. And just recently I was trying to talk to someone about why won't you join Rotaract? And he tells me, well, what's in it for me? And I said, well, you're, he's an electrician, and I told him, you'll get clients. He said, I have clients for five years. I said, well, we're partying a lot, and we're having, <laughs> I mean, he says, I have friends. And I'm asking, so what are you looking for? He says, I want to volunteer. And I said, well, I was wrong. <laughs> Instead of listening to what they need, what he wants. And I realized that not only me, but all of the people there, all the, members, they're looking to volunteer and to give, and it's more than I imagined. That's great. Which That's is great. great. We have what's called a, in Rotary, it's called the Rotary Moment. Some place in time where you actually understand what service is all about and it touches you personally. Have you experienced that, Boris? I have. Uh, Valentine's Day was just, uh, just behind us, no, less than a month. And we volunteered uh, as a Rotaract club to a Valentine's Day party for Down Syndrome youth. Oh. And we went there and we helped them to organize all of the, the event and serving them food, it was really nice. And when I was partying there with uh, the kids, one girl uh, with uh, Down Syndrome took me aside and she said, I wanna do some makeup on you. And I said, <laughs> well, okay, let's do it. And I was sitting there and she was, doing her makeup on me and <laughs> I was enjoying it, you know. Nice. It was good. <laughs> was it? I was wearing it better than <laughs> all of the ladies was, there. Okay. <laughs> okay, good. And so when we were alone, we had a few uh, people around us laughing and having fun with us, but when we were alone, this girl with Down syndrome is telling me, I love you. And I <laughs> nice. said, oh, I love you too. You're an awesome person. It's Really, I, I enjoy hanging out with you. Yeah. And she tells me, I have Down syndrome. And this is, uh, you know, it, 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 she explains it to me. What is it and how many people get it? And she tells me, I really appreciate how you guys come here just to help us. Mm -hmm. And which just gave, it gave me a sense of, I'm actually doing something that impacts people in a way I couldn't, I, I can't even imagine, yeah. but I can feel it. And even me telling you this is, I can't really grasp the, I, I was almost tearing there, but yeah. Yeah. my makeup would uh, go down, <laughs> so I tried to keep the artwork on me. Nice. But this moment was absolutely one of the strongest uh, rotary moments, how we call it. Outstanding. Uh, 
Well, thanks for sharing that, Boris. That's amazing. How about you, Jenna? Um, I would say mine was, um, I was lucky enough to go down to Guatemala in Panajachel with the Downtown Rotary Club. They sponsored me to be able to go with them on their service trip there. Nice. They've had a partnership for several years with Mayan Families, um, a nonprofit that does work with the native population there. And I had heard a lot about what Rotary does internationally and all of the incredible projects that um, so many clubs have worked on. But to see it firsthand how Rotary has essentially done so much work in this city. Uh, there's rotary wheels everywhere. Um, people would come up and smile and hug us when we were in our vests. And to just feel that love, knowing that Rotary has done so much for the people of this community, mm. it was life changing. Mm. And being able to work with the kids there, um, seeing them take us to their homes that uh, people had worked on the year before, and now they have this complete home. Nice. And, um, it was it was overwhelming and beautiful and um, made me that much more um, passionate about what, what Rotary is all about. Very good. Um, now the location of that in Guatemala is near the lake. Yes, Lake right around Lake Atitlan. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. Oh, very nice. Beautiful area there, by yes, the way. Beautiful. <laughs> it is. Mm -hmm. Now, do you plan on going back there again? Or? I would love to. Okay. Yeah. Uh, the club itself does it once every year, every other year? Every year, once yeah. Year? And it's a partnership with the Unity Church of Santa Barbara as well. Okay. Um, groups from um, both clubs go down um, generally around. They just got back last week, actually. Oh, okay. um, and doing very different projects every sure. time, whether it's building homes or uh, water filters or solar installation. Uh, they're doing a lot of really great work there. Now, is that Bill Dutton that usually organizes that? It is. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. he's, he's a good guy, mm -hmm. real good guy. And he was talking to me about some of it. We do quite a few projects in the Guatemala area, so mm -hmm. that is amazing. Good yeah. for you. Getting back to uh, the club and the Rotary Club and the Rotaract Club, what are similar and what are different? The people are the same, I would okay. say. Everyone is really passionate about being there okay. um, nice. and being a good um, citizen and wanting to have that social engagement with people that are like-minded. Um, but for Rotaract, for me, it was about that social element with my peers. Um, and that was, and we're involved in the community a lot more. Uh, we don't necessarily have the big pocketbooks um, mm -hmm. to make those life-changing grants, um, <laughs> but we have the ability to do the work. And that's, I think, what Rotaract came out of, is the action part of Rotary. That is correct. Mm -hmm. yeah. Rotary and action. so we're doing a lot of work um, for more projects, I would say, um, on like a weekend basis. Um, okay. But we do partner with Rotary a lot. Uh, we have several Rotarians from the various groups in the Group 8 to, that join us for our... Um, group 8 our, being the Greater Santa Barbara Area yes. Rotary Clubs. <laughs> mm -hmm. okay. um, and they Got join it. us for our events. And, oh, nice, mm -hmm. nice. Now, you said uh, weekends, you do it almost every weekend, you do a project, um, a service project? Uh, it depends, event? yeah, uh, some event, whether it's a social or a uh, volunteer event, uh, we're gonna be starting uh, volunteering with the Challenger Baseball League okay. um, for uh, children with development, disabled um, children, and doing baseball uh, leagues with them. Oh, nice. Um, they have several games on Saturdays, so a lot of us are gonna be participating and um, helping coach them and um, participate in the field. Very good. <laughs> Thank you. Boris, now, you are in Rotaract, not yet into Rotary, and I say not yet. Mm -hmm. uh, hopefully, someday you're going to be joining there. What do you see the differences and the similarities of the two? The differences would be uh, the ability to be recognized and get the grants that uh, Rotary are getting versus the Rotaract part, which is mostly sponsored by a Rotary club. Um, and again, I will uh, follow what Jenna said. It's more acting more doing uh, rather than uh, you know financially uh, taking care of problems and I think that together when when we collaborate Rotaract and Rotary we can do much more impact and it's not always Rotaractors don't always know what Rotarians can do and vice versa hmm. Rotarians don't always know that Rotaractors are so eager to volunteer because as, a, as an individual, you, you don't know what if others think like, uh, if they think like you. And it, because we assume that, you know, everyone's kind of like us. But when a Rotarian comes to our club and when they see what we do and what we want to do, they go back to their club. And that happened with uh, Sunrise Club, for instance. Mm. We had a visitor 
he goes back and there's a lot of resources. Now we have, we have so much, so many more opportunities to volunteer. And when we have a liaison going to another club, comes back to our club and tells us, hey, we can do the project we wanted to because now we have the financial ability, we have right. the donations to do that. So I think that when we collaborate, we're much stronger when, than when we're not. Now, have you visited all the clubs? Not all of them. Oh, most of them? One of my goals is to visit all of them. Okay. But I did visit uh, quite a few of them in this uh, area, yes. Is there one that you um, say was a better fit for you? A better fit for me? Okay, so I'm... Or what would you look for? With, with I, w I would look for some club that is not uh, when I work, so probably not at noontime. Okay. And that's why the one I visit the most is the Santa Barbara Sunrise Club, okay. which actually is supporting me in so many ways and just sent me to a Pearls program, which is a leadership program that Rotary mm -hmm. leads. And I encourage all my uh, Rotaract friends to go, and I went to Rotaract in Ventura to talk about it. Um, and also to get, to get more uh, collaboration between Rotaract and Rotary. Yeah. Good. Now, was that leadership program something you anticipated that Rotary would have as a, something to offer, or was that something new, that, it was, new concept? It was new, and it was one of the best things I've ever done for Great. myself. Great. And it, because it involves personal life, business life, uh, and Rotary life. It's all, a well all rounded leadership, and it was just contributing to my overall life. And if I would know that before, I would go earlier. <laughs> okay. Sounds good. Thank you. And Jenna, how about you? What attracted you to the uh, Santa Barbara Club? Um, it was a couple blocks from my work. <laughs> oh, <that laughs> so, <would help. laughs> um, and the free lunch was definitely um, oh, helpful. Nice, nice. I work for an environmental nonprofit, so okay. um, free lunches are always um, appreciated. Uh -huh. um, and it was just a fun club. Um, the president at the time had come to some of our meetings um, for Rotaract and kind of um, explained what um, downtown Rotary was about and that we should come and join them. And so that was really helpful, kind of opened the door um, to go. And uh, we had an empty spot on our sign-up sheet for the downtown liaison. And I think it was kind of difficult for a lot of people in our club to make a lunchtime meeting. Right, right. Uh, and so I was like, you know, I, I have a free, pretty free schedule and I can make that work. And nice. um, everyone was so welcoming. And um, But I would say the presidents did a really... Um, good job of bringing me into the club um, and making sure that um, I was pursuing a potential um, <laughs> potential membership um, as I was, as I'm 31, um, or I'm 30, turning 31. Mm -hmm. So right. I'm gonna be um, aging Trans out. Transitioning. <laughs> <laughs> um, and so they were, they were really good about um, making sure that I was going to their social events and um, potentially being in uh, leadership roles in the club. Nice. And that was um, really engaging to know that they wanted me to have a future in their club. Very good. Now you mentioned you get the uh, free, free lunch. Is that through your company or is that through the sponsorship of the club? Through the club, oh, um, nice. the Rotaract liaisons were able to go okay. for, for free. Very um, good. And now that I have the dual membership, um, an individual in the club, a past president, is um, sponsoring me oh, to great. be able to have meals there. Great. Mm -hmm. Now, what size is your uh, Rotaract Club currently? How many members? We have 21 members. Wow, it's a good size. Mm -hmm. And this is the newly chartered, correct? Um, it is, yeah. yeah. Just um, Three years? Yeah, something, like something that, yeah. maybe four or maybe five now. Maybe four. Yeah, yeah. There, we took a break for a while. Yeah, and now <laughs> right, right. I do remember that. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, we had the challenge of uh, them abandoning the old charter instead of keep, bring, keep on bringing that one back. <laughs> so we had to finally convince them that, no, this is a brand new club. Mm -hmm. So it was good. Um, so as we go through and we take a look at the members uh, of your club, the Rotaract Club right now, what do you think would attract them into Rotary? Because that's one of the questions that Rotary's been asking forever. How do we attract people in? Because we get less than 10% of Rotaractors into Rotary. Mm -hmm. Any ideas? I think continuing the action piece that um, mm -hmm. a lot of our members are there specifically for the volunteer service. and. 
if Rotary members don't um, aren't as engaged in service projects, um, that might not be as appealing to a young person. Um, okay. And the financial element is huge. Sure. Um, I think that was the biggest barrier for me um, to join a Rotary Club was the financial element. And the downtown club worked with me um, personally to find Very out well. what that price point was that I could make it work. And also having a young person that's a liaison in the club, um, a younger member, to encourage us to come to um, social events. OK. Oh, good, good. Now, what's a, a unique, I would say, is uh, Rotor actors in the past have always been attracted to the Santa Barbara Sunrise Club. They've had quite a few come through that uh, that club, but Santa Barbara, I believe, is you're, you're one of the first, mm -hmm. so which is great. And I think they just officially got their second. Um, oh, is that right? Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> good, good. Yep. Also from your club? It is. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay good. good. And um, they also have a new sponsor, uh, a corporate sponsor uh, membership, and their associate member for the corporate sponsor is also going to join Rotor Act. Nice. Uh, that's a good touch. Mm -hmm. How about you, Boris? What do you see as the what's going to uh, attract the rotor actors into Rotary? So I think that we should look more into what what is in the, what is in it for me. What is in it for the member? A young member usually is new to the workforce and needs more resources. And what is a better resource than a mentor? True. I think it's True. invaluable. And if Rotarians can find, first of all, make a list of all of their members and go to Rotaract and find what field are you in, we can help you. We can, we can find you the skill that you want. We can find you the hobby, even hobbies. It doesn't have to be professional. Sure. Yeah, that's true. Find someone that makes them feel better in the club, makes them feel welcome. I feel very welcome in the Sunrise Club because I can find people with my interests. So I feel welcome there and not, uh, no, it's not cold there, I would say that. Mm. Um, I think that finding the needs of a member when they're young, and that might help. Also, we talked about the financial part of it. It might be expensive. What if the whole club is benefiting from this one member? What if it's a... Uh, something that the club needs, and they will pitch in for this, uh, the meals of the member. There are many options. Uh, all it takes is creativity of the club, sure. because every club is different, and every club needs different things, and also the people, the incoming rotor actors uh, in that case. I think that with creativity and uh, working together, brainstorming, we can find the answer for that question within a club. Good. For me, it was really huge to be able to go to Guatemala and be on an international service yeah. project. Um, I kind of felt a bit of a debt <laughs> um, to the club for sending me, but I was also inspired to participate in the club more. And um, I've mentioned it to several of the club presidents in the region that it's been helpful to encourage rotor actors to, um, to sponsor them to go on these international trips because for me, it was a huge life-changing event. And it's so impactful that they can, um, they would likely encourage to, be, to stay on. Good, good, very good. There's one thing that Rotary has presented as an idea or a concept, and uh, has been taken on yet, or I, I have seen very few, if any. The idea of actually having a Rotaract club convert to a Rotary club, where they would, each member and every member would carry the same dual membership, yet stay in the functioning group of the Rotaract. Mm -hmm. Have you ever thought about that? Have you considered that one? I saw that, um, but I, our membership is um, pretty staggered in age. Okay. Uh, so I wonder how many um, young... Um, I, I think the difference between Rotaract and Rotary is just in the name, um, True. essentially. Exactly. Um, so if the Rotaract clubs could be a full-fledged Rotary club, um, I would think we might even pursue that. Um, to be a um, like a young professional rotary. Exactly. Um, there have been uh, one area, I think San Diego called it a new generations yeah. club, mm -hmm. where they took a Rotaract club and converted it to Rotary Club. That way they didn't have to graduate out. They mm -hmm. remained a part of that and they kept attracting the, the younger generation into it. So it moved with that group. And they've been pretty active, mm -hmm. pretty successful. The reason I say that, um, it would then address the financial 
obligations you have because you're structured right now where you don't have to worry about that part of it. Mm -hmm. Being a Rotaract club with Rotary, you're just paying the dues. That would be about it. Mm -hmm. so. That would be a good option, particularly because as um, more Rotaract clubs are established at universities, uh, those right. could be the Rotaract clubs, and then you could have those new generation clubs kind of the role that our Rotaract right. club right. plays. Okay. As far as what you're doing right now with the Rotaract Club, tell us about some of your activities. So the 50th anniversary is um, a huge one today um, at the Brew House. Uh, in the past, we've uh, partnered with the Land Shark. To, we raised $1,000 for the victims of the Thomas Fire and Flood. Um, that was a big social event for us, but also a fundraiser. Uh, we've worked with um, the Devereaux um, Special Needs Adults on tons of different occasions. Nice. They're one of our longest standing partnerships. Um, we go to their Valentine's Day events and their um, summer events uh, to help uh, feed, um, feed the participants food and um, dance with them and play games. Um, just like Boris talked about with the Down Syndrome group. Mm -hmm. um, and then Challenger Baseball is a new one that we're starting. And uh, Flower and Power is also one of our longest standing partnerships where we go and build uh, flower bouquets for the terminally ill in a partnership with the Dream Foundation. Nice. And would you like to talk about Squire? Squire Foundation is an art uh, foundation in town that <clears throat> right now they have a showing of uh, fluidity of gender. And uh, this will encourage the young people, and not only the young people around town, to be more secure with who they are, it gives them an opportunity. And we took uh, on ourselves to volunteer there and create this, like help with, we took it as a peace project. So we're helping with, with all of this. So we have that for uh, the youth to come and feel more comfortable with people like their age. And another thing is a party that we're helping uh, for the LGB LGBTQ community. And they're having a big party, and we're helping them with uh, reception and uh, taking all the event uh, with them. It's the Pride is, Prom. Sounds like a great event. Uh, well, with that, we're pretty much out of time. So thank you both very much for that. Uh, appreciate your time. Success uh, coming forward in Rotary and in Rotaract. With that, everybody, thank you very much for joining us. Take a look at the Rotaract Clubs in your area, and also remember this, as they said, you need to go there and visit them because they don't know you're out there. With that, thank you very much, and we'll see you next time. Good.